Okay, so let's have this topic, the sampling distribution of sample proportion. So suppose a random sample of size n are drawn from a population in which the proportion with a characteristic of interest, the mean and the standard deviation of the sample proportion satisfy. So for the mean, that's the same as the interest and the standard deviation of a sample proportion. That's the square root of P times Q over N, where Q, that's 1, minus P. And to check if approximately normally distributed, we have this interval, that's P minus 3 times the standard deviation, and P plus 3 times the standard deviation lies wholly within the interval 0, 1. Then let's have this problem. Suppose that 37% of senior high school students are in favor of face-to-face -face class. 600 randomly selected senior high school students were asked if they are in favor of the face-to-face -face class. Then we verify that the sample proportion computed from the samples of size 600 meets the condition that each sampling distribution be approximately normal. So using this formula to compute the interval, but first we need to solve for the standard deviation, that's the square root of P times Q over N, where Q is equal to 1 minus P. So from the given, P that's 37%, so in decimal, that's 0.37, then N, that's the sample size, so we have this sample size 600. So n is 600. Then to solve now for q, so q equals 1 minus uh, 0.37. So q now is 0 0.63. So to solve now for the standard division, so the square root of p, so p is uh, this 0.37 times q. q, that's 0 0.63 over n, so that's 600. So the standard division now, so using calculator, so we have this, the square root, then open parenthesis, so 0.37, then times 0.63, then divide by 600, close parenthesis, that's 0 0.0197. So this is the standard division. So we can solve now the interval. So we have P and the standard deviation. So using this formula, so that's P, P is 0.37 minus 3 times the standard deviation. That's 0 0.0197. And the other one, 0.37 plus 3 times the standard deviation. So the interval now, we have 0.37 minus 3 times 0 0.0197 that's 0 0.31 then the other one so this uh, 0 0.37 plus 3 times 0 0.0197 that's 0 0.43 now since this interval within the interval 0 1 Therefore, the sample proportion is approximately normally distributed. Then this problem, so find the probability that the sample proportion computed from the sample size 600 will be within 6 percentage points of the true population proportion. Now, since within or between, so therefore, this 37% or 0.37 minus this 6 percentage point or in decimal that's 0 0.06, that's 0 0.31. And the other 0.37 plus this 6 percentage point, that's 0 0.06, that's 0 0.43. So to compute now for the probability that the proportion within 0.31 and 0.43 so first we need to convert this one in a z-score using this formula 
since we already computed the standard deviation, that's 0 0.197. So at x equals 0 0.31, so we have z, that's x, so 0 0.31 minus p, that's 0 0.37 over the standard deviation, that's 0 0.0197. So z now, that's 0 0.31 minus 0 0.37 equals, then divide by, 0 0.0197 it's negative 3.05 then at x equals 0 0.43 so we have 0 0.43 minus 0 0.37 divide by the standard division that's 0 0.0197 so z now we have 4, 0.43 minus 0 0.37 equals divide by 0 0.0197 it's 3.05 so this is now the probability so z between negative 3.05 and 3.05 so in a normal curve so let's assume this one is negative 3.05 and this one is positive 3.05 so using this table to solve for the area of this negative 3.05 so 3.0 and this one is 5 so the area now is 0.4989 and for the positive 3.05 so the same area 0.4989 then since this area so from the mean for this negative 3.05 so therefore this 0.4989 belongs to this area and this 4989 also belongs to this area and we're looking for the probability between, so between, so therefore, this area is the unknown. So to solve for the probability, so we have 0 0.4989 plus 0 0.4989. So the probability is 0 0.9978. In percentage form, this one is equal to 99.78%. Then for this problem, so a random sample with a size 225 is taken from a population in which the proportion with the characteristic of interest, that's P, equals 0.34. So find the indicated probabilities. So first, we need to convert this one in Z-score, but since in Z-score, we need standard division. So solve first for the standard division per Q, that's 1 minus P. So from the problem, P that's 0 0.34 and N that's 225. That's the sample size. So to solve for Q, that's 1 minus 0 0.34. So Q is 0 0.66. Then to solve now for the standard division, so we have the square root of P that's 0 0.34 times Q that's 0 0.66 divide by N that's 225. 25. So the standard division now, we have uh, shift this square root in open parenthesis 0.34 times 0.66, then divide by 225, then close parenthesis, that's 0 0.0316. So this is the standard division. So to convert now this uh, value in Z-score, so we have the standard division, that's 0 0.0316. So at x equals 0 0.25, so Z now we have this 0 0.25 minus uh, P, that's 0 0.34, divide by the standard division, that's 0 0.0316. So Z now we have uh, 0.25 minus 0.34 equals then divide by 0 0.0316 so z is negative 2.85 and at x equals uh, 0 0.40 so z that's 0 0.40 minus 0 0.34 divide by 0 0.0316 so 0 0.40 minus 0 0.34 equals divide by 0 0.0316 that's 
So, Z is 1.90. So, this is now the probability. So, in a normal curve. So, let's assume this one is negative 2.85. And this one is 1.90. So, to solve now for the area of negative 2.85. So, 2.8. Then, 0, 5. So, the area now is 0.4978. And for this 1.90, so 1.90, so the area is 0.4713. Then since from the mean to this negative 2.85, so therefore this 0.4978 belongs to this area. And from the mean to this uh, 1.90, so this 0.4713 belongs to this area. And since we're looking for the area between, so therefore this area is the unknown. So the area now, or the probability, we have 0.4978 plus 0.4713. So this is now the probability that 0.9691. So in percentage, that's 96.91%. So this is the probability. And for this given, so the probability that P is less than 0 0.35, so convert this 35 in Z-score. So we have this uh, 0.35 minus 0.34 divided by the standard division. So Z is 0 0.32. So in accord, let's assume this one is 0 0.32. Then to solve for the area, so 0.3. 0 to that's 0 0.32, so the area is 0 0.1255. Now, since from the mean to this 0 0.32, so this 0 0.1255 belongs to this area. Now, since less than, so therefore, to the left. And we know that half of the curve, the area is 0 0.5. The probability now, we have this. 0.5 plus this 0 0.1255, so the 0 0.6255, or in percentage, that's 62.55%. So this is now the probability.